For those of you who haven't heard already, Ardman Studios, the same studios behind Morph, Wallace and Gromit, Chicken Run, Flushed Away, Arthur Christmas, Pirates, The Band of Misfits, Shaun the Sheep Movie, and other shorts and other TV programs have already announced their upcoming film for 2018. The next Ardman film that they're going to be releasing in 2018 is Early Man. And here's a picture to show you. Early Man tells the story of how one plucky caveman unites his tribe against a mighty enemy and saves the day, set at the dawn of time when dinosaurs and woolly mammoths roamed the earth. So by the looks of this, this is something different from what Ardman has done. I never expected that Ardman Studios would ever do something prehistoric and it would feature cavemen. I mean, we already have um, an animated film uh, set in prehistoric times, which is called The Crudes, but that's done by DreamWorks. However, I still have uh, faith in this film because, I mean, it Ardman films have a style of their own and they put a lot of time and effort into their films because they're dedicated into making these films look rich, pure and amazingly beautiful with this stunning stop motion. However, despite that it's set in prehistoric times and that it's different from Ardman's works, it also does have similarities as well. So Wallace and Gromit is about a man and his dog. And you can see from this picture of early man, you can also see um, a man and his well, it's not his dog, but it's his warthog, so they're really obsessed with that sort of concept of man and animal companionship. I'm going to expect the sort of chemistry that they used in Wallace and Gromit in Early Man, which is going to be exciting to see. So this film is about Doug, the caveman. Now you're probably wondering who's going to voice this character. The voice of Doug is Eddie Redmayne, which is really exciting, and I, I can imagine him playing him. He definitely suits the role. As this caveman, uh, Doug, is a young boy who wants to uh, become a caveman, but he's having trouble fitting in and having trouble protecting his family. Uh, but he's sort of that reluctant hero and uh, sort of weak, vulnerable character. And I can't wait to see uh, Eddie Redmayne's sophisticated sounding voice attached to this uh, this character. And also a lot of audience are going to see this film because a lot of Eddie Redmayne fans are going to going to go see this movie because of Eddie Redmayne and also Ardman Studios as well. So this is going to be this is going to be successful. Here are the five countries that they're going to be releasing this film uh, so far. So as you can see, uh, there's only five countries that it's going to be releasing so far. And the reason why it's released into these five countries is because it's Studio Canal's territory. That's right, Studio Canal and also the British Film Institute are also distributing uh, this film. I think that's great. I mean, I think that's great. They're great distribu distribution companies and they work well with Ardman Film because following the success of Sh uh, Shaun the Sheep movie, they know it's going to be a success and they have uh, their highest hopes on Early Man too. And so do I. The director of Early Man will be Nick Park. This film also marks Nick Park's first film since Wallace and Gromit, uh, Curse of the Were-Rabbit. He also co-directed uh, Chicken Run as well, which are great, amazing films. And here's what he has to say. I'm very excited to be making this film with Studio Canal and BFI. Bringing this inept bunch of cavemen to life is going to be a hilarious adventure. At the end of the day, guys, I, I have massive hopes for this film. I have massive support for this film and I can't t wait till it releases. It already looks promising. Ardman Studios never disappoint. It's got great script writing. It casted their main character as well. So yeah, exciting times. Can't wait till this film comes. In the description below, uh, there will be the articles, the information, and Ardman Studios website. So you can go down there, check it out, and uh, gain more information about uh, when this film is going to release. It's the least I can do for Ardman Studios. The thing that I love about Ardman Studios is that their films, um, in my opinion, they never disappoint point. They never disappoint at all guys. I mean when I've watched all these films, and I'm not just talking about films, I'm also talking about the shorts as well, such as Stage Fright, um, Angry Kid. I mean uh, me and my friend used to love Angry Kid and uh, the way that he swears in front of his parents. It's just so funny. Also me and my sister really enjoyed uh, Creature Comforts. It was really fun, it was very cute, and it was very clever the way that they used the voice of uh, real life documentaries and they uh, animated that so it looked like the animals were actually talking in front of the microphone it was re it was really it was really cute and it was very clever um, i also admired that they put their blood and sweat and tears into into their productions i remember watching a documentary of uh, nick park uh, directing chicken run and i remember him saying every day is 3 seconds worth of film 3 seconds of film but imagine how exciting those 3 seconds would be 
and he couldn't be any more right because that film was exciting it was intense chicken run was also heartwarming i really loved the character development and um the relationship between ginger and rocky um it was it was amazing it was a, a, a heartwarming childhood film and they still haven't stopped making heartwarming childhood films um, they've made a Shaun the sheep movie and it's equally as heartwarming as chicken run uh, as, as well as it's all other Ardman films. They all have heart, they all have good characters, they have good character development, and great storyline as well. Guys, I have absolute faith in this film. There you have it guys, Ardman Studios' new film in 2018, Early Man. So guys, uh, are you interested in seeing Early Man? Are you excited as much as I am and you can't wait till this film uh, releases in 2018? Or this film's going to be a flop? Or maybe you're just not a fan of Ardman Studios at all? Well, if you are a fan, then also feel free to comment down below and drop in your favorite Arden film. Is it Chicken Run? Is it Wilson Gromit? Who knows? Just comment down below and share me your thoughts. And as of always, thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe. And also share this video with your friends, your family, or any Ardman Studios uh, fan you know, like, such as me, and let them know that they've already uh, announced an Ardman film. Until next time, guys, have a great one.